the Black-Scholes PDE. So let's begin with the assumptions. First, there's a short-term interest rate, and for that we're going to call it constant. The second assumption is that the stocks pay no dividends. The third is that there are no transaction costs like brokerage. The fourth is that you cannot borrow, or that you can borrow, a fraction of a stock. The fifth, that short selling is allowed for any security. And this is what we call the ideal market conditions. Now, for their work, Myron Scholes and Fisher Black in 1977 were awarded the Nobel Prize for this work. So our intuitive derivation is going to be the following. First, we're going to price the derivative using replication. Then we're going to construct a risk-free portfolio. So by then assuming that our call option is a smooth function over all C, we're going to use Edo's rule to express the portfolio as drift as its partial derivatives. Then we're going to find the solution. So first construct a portfolio with an option and stocks. So we're going to assume that there's one option and then negative alpha shares. We're going to construct the portfolio as VT and we're going to derive it. So following, following that derivative, let's assume that the underlying follows a GBM, so a geometric Brownian motion, as follows here. There's a drift term and a diffusion term with constant volatility. So now as the call price is dependent on the underlying and time, let's derive that. So taking the partial de derivatives with respect to each parameter, we get the following. But we cancel out the time squared, as that's a very small component. So now, take the derivative of that value and sub back in the derivative of CT. By equating the delta with alpha, this is the number of shares held in the portfolio, and the assumption that we're going to make is that these two are equivalent. This will cancel those terms. So now, using the GBM, square both sides, cross multiply, and you're going to cancel out the first two um, terms, because they're small. Now, because of Avito's calculus, that Weiner process becomes DT, DW squared. Now we just need to sub in the ds squared term into our equation. So we've been able to factorise the dt out of that equation as well. Let's construct the arbitrage-free portfolio with a bank account at rate r. That's our opportunity cost. So the change in that value over time is r of vt dt, and vt is from the portfolio above. So let's equate both sides. Remember that alpha is the delta, that change in the call price with respect to the underlying. And now let's rearrange. So the PDE is as follows. Now, we can't forget about one really important aspect of PDEs, the boundary conditions. And we know that at the expiry, the payoff of a call option is the max of zero and the difference between the underlying and the strike. So reiterating, we construct the risk-free portfolio with options and shares. We use GBM as the underlying model. We create the arbitrage-free portfolio, equate both sides and rearrange. Thank you for listening to ASX Options. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you very much.